<laughs> uh, Dr. Evil Bones is wondering if I ever found out what scalping does in gun. Nope. No clue. Yeah, I never did either. Don't have a damn clue. Oh. He does point out, though, if you get his Windows Phone Chivo's app, there's a self-worth calculator that determines what level you are on. <laughs> that's, only on that's only on the Windows Phone 8 version, though. There are exceptions, like being a celebrity. Yeah. I wonder I if mean, that has like, an input in there. I'm a celebrity. Please. <laughs> so I, I, he had a post there about going to the club yeah, and I'm showing to, people his yeah. gamer score, and that was really the, the part that I was like, yep, this is this guy's for real. <laughs> for the video visual studio chivos, when people put on the resume resume, I have sixty seven chivos. What is the person looking at the resume going to think? Visual Studio Chivos or Xbox Live Chivos? Now I have to put two lines on my resume. Why do they keep saying Chivos? Now I have to put two lines on my resume. Let's see. Man, that's a good idea. I should do that. I mean, you have to get a it job somehow. Sense. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, that, that might help. I've still been fixing my, uh, my whole setup after shutting down the SNES stream. Th there is a video game happening right now, right? Uh, sort of, yeah. Whatever. I don't know, I'm just no. wondering, I'm actually running side quests, right? I'm just walking around, like, killing dudes. I don't know. It's only gun, it's not a real video game. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to promote a site, but True Achievement's website could probably do a conversion. I see he's talking about Visual Studio to Xbox Live. Uh, through some agreement, oh. They are the only ones that have access to Xbox Live Chivo's API, which is also not true. Uh, it's very not yeah. true. <laughs> they do calculations based on how many people on their site got that achievement and have a true achievement number as opposed to the fake achievement number. Yes. You could connect into the Visual Studio Chivo's and add that to your total, but a true achievements number or ration is not the number that you floss on your Windows phone at clubs. It would be much easier for Microsoft to just add it to the Xbox Live ecosystem. <laughs> if you're flossing at the clubs, you can't bust out your Windows phone for the honeys and show them your Visual Studio achievements. Get him, boys. Oh man. Guys, I just... I went to my, my Xbox 360's blog and uh, he's like super sad right now. When was the last time you played your 360? I don't know, it's been a while. I've been playing all these Mario games. Just uh, in November when Halo 4 came out, he was the happiest he had ever been, but now it's like he's in rough shape. Here's the one from yesterday. He said, I tried to play a few Xbox Live titles yesterday since 19 Letters Long never showed up. I got bored and cried instead. Sad. That is sad. Sorry, we. Can... I didn't mean to bring the mood down. To the people that say my view of the world is warped, well, I wake up every morning, look in the mirror, and say yes. How many people can say that? <laughs> <laughs> Most of our society is on pills, so they won't be depressed. Unless oh. you're curing cancer or something, being interested in gamer score or music or sports makes no difference. Chivo's slash gamer score will be the next big sport in ten years or so. I don't yes, I don't I like think to brag about my stats because I am. <laughs> I like to be the alpha male in the group. It's <sighs> human nature, and I can back it up all up anywhere I am by showing people my Windows Phone. <laughs> I don't think really he loves his Windows Phone. Guy has yet. Well, you can track your chivos on the phone. You can get different ones on there. There's achievements that are only for Windows Phone apps. This is like the only guy who likes his Windows Phone. <laughs> Oh, he actually, okay, let's see. He loves He's got his some math going on here. Okay. Some people do make a living from Gamerscore slash Chivos. Not me. I don't play as much as the leaders, and I don't have the skill set that the very top people do. I mm -hmm. said earlier, I'm a renaissance man. Well-rounded. Because I do other various activities other than gaming. I do have a calculation on my Chivo site and my phone app that can help you with your self-worth. <laughs> Points equals... Chivos times two, plus okay. YouTube views, plus social media fans, <laughs> plus breakdown 
breakdance uh-huh. skill level from 1 to 10 times 50,000. Plus breakdance skill level. So how that's do you how you know that. Is there a separate formula? Breakdance, I think it's, you have to be independently judged. Okay. I'm just glad that somebody's doing, like, running the numbers and doing some, like, oh, real hard science on this. <laughs> yeah, how, algorithms. How that he's very high in breakdancing. I have but, stats but, to back things up online. I could tell you a couple months ago, I was breakdancing in the circle in Vegas, and Pauly D walked by and gave me the thumbs up. <laughs> Great. <laughs> by the way, um, Courtney is sending me some pretty awesome tumblers. Excellent. Uh, uh Clumsy Agent says he's going to be real sad when the Windows Phone is gone in three years. This guy's whole <laughs> life is going to crumble. <laughs> oh, don't worry. So everyone complaining that he's saying Chivos, there's actually a... Uh, he breaks down why he says Chivos right here. It's faster. That's right. Uh, let's oh, see. Geez. Chivos is a street word, which has no <laughs> rule. Oh! <laughs> Rumored to be, f- rumored to first be an internal word used in Microsoft. Oh. It doesn't have project. It just <laughs> is because that's the way people use it. When I say I have over 50k chivos, you know what I'm talking about. When I say I have 50,000 Xbox gamer score, it doesn't flow right. First, because it's a lot longer to type Xbox gamer score than chivos. Second, gamer score is a plural without an s at the end. It sounds much more. It sounds so much better when you're talking up your e when you have an at the end, that's the word you're talking about. It's just the way it is and the way people use it. Uh, there's a mythology to it. <laughs> Bitak92 says, okay, okay, is this fanfic stuff or is this legit? We're not to the fanfic yet. This is for reals. Um, Although this guy might just be a troll. Yeah, you know, like kind of like broke it out for the me. The fact that he's using the term "epeen" as like a real positive thing, like that, I don't know. It seems kind of like a red flag to me. Like, could, could anyone actually think the term "epeen" is like a real thing that you should be a proud of? He is either a troll or like just one of the most comically misled people I've ever encountered. Um, are we? Are, I think we could probably move on to something else. You have your Digimon stuff ready? Are you good to go? Uh, yeah, I think I could go go for it. Or should we do should we do one of the uh, one of the fanfic things first, and then the Digimon thing? Uh, whatever. Let's we hop right into let's hop right into the uh, the Digimon. Okay, yeah. All do right. The Digimon thing and Kyle, or sorry, Dylan, you can you can. Check out some of the fanfic stuff and see what what works so, for that. So this Digimon thing I found is from somebody's blog, and this is sort of like a whole. This is like this is a recap of like the entire is Digimon real saga. So like part of it, he goes over like the thing that we talked about last time, like the something awful week of the web or weekend web stuff. Yes. So, uh, but there's one specific part I'm here to read, but I'll read the op- opening paragraph here because I thought it was nice. Where uh, the title was. Digimon Digital Champions, Digimon are real? No, they aren't. What do you mean, of course, Digimon aren't real, Max? Why is this even relevant? Well, unfortunately, it is, even in this day and age, entirely relevant. There is a large entirely community, relevant, yes. There is a large community of adi- There is a large community adamant in the belief of Digimon and their existence. Here's the part where I get mad. It says, for all of you in the dark, Digimon was one of those few quick cash-in clones of Pokemon. Ugh. That, this that, is disgusting to me. That's going to make you real angry. Ugh. But um, let me just skip here. So this is um, this is a post on... There's a Latin um, it looks like hmm. some kind of map. Well, it was a post somewhere. <laughs> but here, here is a here is a post from uh, someone who goes by the name Digitamer. Uh, I just want to point out in the game, there's some some fucking Da Vinci Code shit going on right now. Let me see here. Yeah, why do these Native Americans have a cross? I don't really know. Why do these heathens have a cross? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> wow, yeah. it's the one uh, true way. Yeah. <laughs> it's too, too real right now. Okay, sorry. Keep Are going. you converting you, them? You're allowed to go. Keep going with the Digimon. Okay, this is a post from Digitamer. Uh, this is from <laughs> September 14th, uh, 2008. Uh, strangely enough, 
that's my uh, my half birthday. That's exactly six months after my birthday. I'm sure this is relevant somehow. Oh yeah. Um, Follow me. I don't know if the thread title or the post title is Digimon are real. Here's the thing. I have no idea when it started or how it started, but most of the young people are seeing or feeling Digimon. Yeah, those anime creatures similar to Pokemon. One of those young men is me, who encountered with such a creature. It all started the day... with. Encountered <laughs> with. It all started on the day after my 18th birthday. I was on my way to the local cyber cafe, where I was usually hanging out. <laughs> It's closed now. Wah. And I remembered watching Digimon as a kid. So I just typed in my fave Digimon, Renamon. Ugh. Renamon sucks. I already hate this person. Explain, explain why Renamon sucks cause I, and what Renamon is. Uh, Renamon is just one of like the main Digimon characters in Season 3. And it just kind of sucks because um, it's like... It's like this humanoid Digimon that it's just, it's kind of like a furry, basically. It's cheating, definitely. It's, Digimon was supposed to be small and cute, and this one was like a person. It was just weird. I don't know. And then, and then that just, it, I'm, I'm, I feel like my opinion is just enforced when. But last time, weren't you talking about one of the Digimon who was like, who you said was, was okay to, to like because it was like a hot girl? Oh. Yeah, well, I was but see, that's the thing is that the the Digimon that's a hot girl was an ultimate level Digimon. It's like you gotta digivolve like two or three times before you get to look like a person. Renamon is a rookie Digimon. It's like one of the lowest levels. You can't just be humanoid. It's, right it's, off the bat. It's, that's like it's, against it's, the Digimon rules. Ryota yeah. in the chat room points out fucking Wizardmon, yo. Shout out to Wizardmon. Oh, mad. Pour one out for Wizardmon, you guys. Seriously. Um. So anyways, uh, I, remember watching, confused right now. <laughs> I remembered watching Digimon as a kid, so I just typed in my fave Digimon Renamon on the Google search bar and ended up finding a page called Renamon.nl, a site dedicated to that Digi. So I joined the community and found out most of the people are having dreams about her. Yes, Renamon is a she, and believe that they were meant to be her tamer. Tamers in anime were called the Chosen Ones. Uh, this is an entire website and community community dedicated to this one. Do we know if that's Digimon. still up? I, I I didn't even think to check, but I can't, I can't imagine. We're, I, there are everybody is frantically uh -huh. checking now. No, it <laughs> doesn't look like it. Oh, that's yeah. too bad. Renamon is like there's like a known like really well, weird creepy obsession with this Digimon more so than That's what I'm saying. It's it's ones. like a furry thing kind of, but it's, if yeah. if I go a little farther. I think it might not be too much of a stretch to say that, that site might have been forcibly shut down by some kind of government agency <laughs> in, the, in the intervening four years between this post and right now. Yeah, let's just say uh, you don't want to do a, a search on Google Images for Ringmon with safe search off. It's going to be or, <laughs> something else. Or do it and have it I don't know. Well, I mean, you do. That's true. Maybe. Uh, right. Unknown Ombre is wondering, NL, would that have been like a Netherlands site? Is that what that is? Maybe. Um, it stands for never leave the house. <laughs> uh, my first opinion about these pe about those people were, OMG WTF? These people are crazy. Okay, but yeah, I'm with it. I'm with them so far. Still join the community though. Sure. Uh, so he was once intelligent. But now All he's right. been crazy. Let me see, I, I joined the community and found that most of the people are having dreams about her, yes, Renamon is a she, and believe that they were meant to be her tamer. My first opinion about these people were, OMFG, WTF, these people are crazy. The following days, I tried not to log into that site, but it seemed to me like some unknown force was forcing me to be there, on that site. It was a strange feeling. That's how One I feel about Twitter, so I understand that. <laughs> yep. For and basic. NeoGAF, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I think that fits better. Yeah, it actually does. One month has passed, and I met several people there who claim to me that they are real. Uh, they, I think he means Digimon, that Digimon are real, especially Renamon. So I was like, okay, then prove to me that they are really real. Uh, that's when I met him, a person with a nickname, F, who claimed that... That's a shitty nickname! <laughs> 
<laughs> or the first person who uh, registered on the site. Because I got a one character name. Yeah. That's serious. Person with nickname F who claimed that lives with three Renamon in his apartment. So we had a deal. He will send his Renamon to spy me for two days. And on the day after, he would tell me... He would tell me what was I doing, where was I going, and what was I wearing, etc. Three days passed. I went to the cyber cafe and logged in. He was online, and guess what happened next? He told me every single detail about what I was doing for the past two days. Oh, wow. I, was shocked that, <laughs> I was shocked that I fell off a chair. But what was <laughs> I was shocked that I fell <laughs> off a chair. It's pretty shocking. <laughs> because, I mean, I should have been able to just sit in it like a, like a, an intelligent, regular person. I'm sorry, I actually got that wrong. He, he oh. did say, I'm so shocked that I fell off a chair. Um, I want to point out in the, uh, in the chat room, um, Dr. Evilbone says, Some unknown force keeps pulling me back here. You guys, I might be Phil's Digitrainer. <laughs> well, that makes sense, <laughs> yeah. Um, a couple of people have linked here. pictures of Renamon in the chat if you want to know what she looks like. Thanks, people. I hope they're really good. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep those for I'm later. Clicking on one. Also, I just got a dynamite bow in the game, so that's pretty oh, awesome. Shit. Oh wow, that's a. That's, that's pretty... actually pretty cool. Okay, sorry. A loco dynamite bow. Let's keep going with this. It's crazy. We're, we're in the middle. We're in the middle of this story. Things are just getting good. <laughs> Let's see here. I was so shocked that I fell off a chair. But what was the most interesting part? We are from two different continents. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the following day, Renapon. The following day, Renamon appeared in my dream. Even nowadays, she is in my dreams. This is going on for two years constantly. So now I'm totally confused about the timeline, but I think... I don't know. I don't know. Am I just going crazy? Is this some, is this some sort of sign that something in the future might happen? Also to notice, every day the Tamer community is increasing, and many people are seeing these creatures. I've never seen it in real life, but the Renamon in my dreams looks pretty realistic, not drawn. If anyone else has experienced something similar like I did, Please reply to this post. Others who want to make fun of this post, click back to forum button. Digi Tamer. <laughs> um, this is unrelated to the the um, forum thread you're reading, but Doctor Derp in the chat room says shoutouts to the Bible, and I just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually um, this is totally unrelated, but uh, I was looking around Giant Bomb yesterday, and I stumbled on a a page for a game called Another Bible. And <laughs> as, a, as, co as compared to the regular one, yeah, I I couldn't think of a good joke for it, but I just I just love that idea. And it only came out in Japan, by the way. I'm like, yeah, I'm not surprised they didn't bring a game called Another Bible to America. I'm not sure how people would react to that. I just you know the 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 original was okay, but I mean, have we had any other takes on the Bible? I mean, come on. Yeah, Why I think it's time for for a reboot, right? Yeah, and, and I mean, it was like a one-book series, really. That's really not enough time to, to get it yeah, right. I'd, I'd like the Bible, too, if I could. <laughs> to see what happens after Revelations. Yeah, I liked a lot of the characters, but I just wanted to see someone else's interpretation of them. I was just looking up pictures of Anime Jesus the other day. What's that? So, I was just looking up pictures of Anime Jesus the other day. And they exist. Of course, of course there's of course they do. Yeah. What? How are Japanese kids going to learn about the Bible? Mm. Um, can, here's a, a response with someone saying, uh, Can you say stalker? Were I the 18-year-old in question, I'd be worried about a lot more than just Digimon watching me. I don't know how else to put this kid, but you are going to get raped. I can't even explain everything else wrong with that message, other than to say it's very, other than its very existence. Get me back to that mine, then take your train to find a kid. Okay. Oh my God, this is great. All right, this is the next thing in this person's blog post of whatever. But this, this is a Yahoo Answers. Uh, Digimon are real. Do you think Digimon are real? If so, why? Uh, best answer chosen by voters. And this is 
This is gonna blow your mind. The the second sentence in this post. I think it is possible that Digimon are real. Call me crazy, but gorillas were thought to be mythical up till fifty up till about fifty years ago. What? <laughs> <laughs> I will call you crazy. That's oh, not right, I think. That, that was like one of my favorite things. <laughs> that was, might be one of my favorite sentences I ever read on the internet. <laughs> About 50 years or so. <laughs> it is possible that Digimon or Digimon-like creatures are the same. <laughs> the choice is up to you whether to believe or not. I found a few cool sites of some things, blah blah blah. That might be everything we've been reading. If you believe, keep believing. Don't let others tell you anything else. If you don't, it is your right. I somewhat believe. The choice is yours. I somewhat believe. <laughs> the, the, the person writing the blog says, Wait, now you're telling me gorillas are real too? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Here's um, another thing. In the uh, in the chat room Bleeding Heart says after revelations they go in this whole other direction and it got really mixed reviews. <laughs> That's <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, another Yahoo answers, this one's a quick one. Where could I find a Digivice so I could get real Digimon? Uh First answer, dude, go to Walmart. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, Toys R Us. Blog writer, know. seriously, bro, they have everything at Walmart. Anyways, uh, I think that's all the Digimans I have right now.